Hey guys, what's going on? It's the boys from Retro Clock. Manny here. We got Gabe as well. What's up? Um, today we did a quick sketch of Superman. Real simple. No uh, intricate things. Just a quick sketch so we could catch up on uh, last week. We didn't really post anything, so we want to start doing... That's my fault. That's all right. That's my fault. Fuck, fuck. Uh, we want to start doing more videos, so we're going to start doing quick sketches like this, like the, the Flash from the last flash, time. Yeah. Flashito. Um, so this Superman, we're just inking it right now. Quick lines. We uh, we um, first of all, what is this Superman inspired? Like, who? well, first we penciled it real quick just so they know we, it was penciled beforehand, and then we started inking it on camera. And uh, kind of uh, my favorite Superman is the old school Max Lightyear looking Superman, the, the barrel chested, like squinty eyed looking guy. So that's that's one of my favorite Supermans. And this one, the pose is kind of inspired by um, Frank Miller's Dark Knight. In that comic book, Superman's pose with like a Rico Suave looking shirt off, popped open to like the middle <laughs> button, and he's just holding the eagle, and Batman rolls up. On him. So that was kind of the inspiration. And uh, the background's just gonna be real plain, nothing crazy. Um, right here, we're just starting to use some Copic, starting to shade in his hair. Uh, we're just testing out the um, the shine to his hair. I wanted to kind of go for a vintage, old school look. Um, so we started just putting these like streaks in it, but I wasn't really happy with them. Eventually, we just changed them up. And make them smaller because I think it's kind of big. Gabe kind of had a point. Like, let's yeah. put the background in and, and see what happens. If it looks funny, we'll, we'll shrink it up. So, in the end, it ended up looking kind of funny to me. So, I shrank it up and we're just everything's like almost a solid color, just plain. No real uh, dark tones, that shading or anything, especially in the cape and just the plain. You can't really see the sh shadowing we added just because it kind of, it's hard, hard to pick up on the camera. Yeah, but at the end, we'll just post a picture like we always do so you guys can see it. But I just want to ask you a question. Like, what is your least favorite thing about, yeah, like, inking, drawing? What's, like, what's your so my, least favorite thing? At least my least favorite is just, like, this, like, not really coloring the Superman. I don't mind it because he's, like, the main uh, part of the picture. But something I don't like is, like, backgrounds or just, like, large portions. especially. Oh, yeah, the like the Donkey, um, Donkey Kong, D I mean, the Link versus DK one. Yeah, it's just, just all black. It's still not released, but you guys will see it before this one. Um, yeah, it's just a bunch of like background or even like large spaces just with color. It's just so repetitive. It's just boring to me. Like I'm just sitting here coloring and coloring and coloring and just, it's boring. Um, but you know, right here we're starting to add more shadows. So what I do is lay down a base color, like a plain blue. Like I went for a lighter blue for his, uh, his uh, outfit and then started getting a darker blue and just adding it. And you can literally just um, add layers to it, just add more shadow. If you have the same marker, um, just go over the same spot with shadows. You just kind of slowly start building up uh, some layers to add some shade, shadowing, I mean. So right here, we're just kind of fishing a lot. Start, we'll, we'll skip after the uh, the background. What Gabe was talking about, just I like, kind of hate it. Oh, no, never mind. Yeah, we do the, the face skin tone. So the same thing as the, as the the chest and the cape. I get a light color, start down, lay some layers down. And uh, on the camera, I didn't really pick it up, so I don't know. I do a couple layers on here because... The color changed when I was looking at the screen. It just looked funny to me compared to what I was looking at the paper. So I laid down a light Copic. Um, I don't really know the colors, but I can start looking them up so that way you guys know what I use. Um, and then get just a darker one to add some shadows to his face. Yeah, I'm about to bring that other light so like we can actually see like the true drawing instead of just waiting for the picture at the end. Yeah, because this is all like still new to us. I mean, well, it's at least new to me. Gabe's been doing it for a while. He has his other channel. Um, Shamelessly plug your other channel. Nah, man. Uh, Switching fun to the end. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, anyways, so we started doing that skin tone. So, I, like I said, I added a layer, and some darker colors, add some shadows. Just because the recent videos I've been trying to just, I had the certain colors I used to use, like a darker skin tone, but it, it just doesn't come out to me. So I started going. Here's really what we do: like a little piece of the background, then we just finish it because it took a long time. Mm -hmm. So we just skipped it. And with the drawings, I kind of like adding something that I enjoy, that we enjoy from the channel. So in the background, I know it's kind of just a sky background, but we figured why not just add a little bit to it and put some Mario clouds, see how that looked. Yeah. And I ended up liking it. I thought it was cool. Um, the eagle was super simple. Um, the drawing, the outline, everything was just plain. Nothing really crazy about it, but I, I really did enjoy the um, the colors. So like I said, these are new markers. Like, God, they're cheap. They're like Studio 71 markers. Um, but I ended up liking the way the eagle turned out. I got a darker, I think started with hazelnut, then I got a dark brown and just started adding shadows to it and putting in the lines for the, the defining lines for the feathers and it just turned out really well. So I, I did like the eagle a lot. Uh, yeah, I like I like how the eagle turned out, like the face and the the shine for the hair, like everything in this 
this picture is really good. All right, guys, this is the finished product. Manny's uh, Superman holding a dope ass American Eagle. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. If you guys have any ideas for us to draw, uh, please leave it in the comment section below. All right, guys, peace.